Hello, and welcome to the Swole Initiative Network. I'm your host, Eric Garcia, running Die RPG for everybody here. Oh, it's uh, it's Wednesday. It feels like second Monday, third Monday. I don't know. Something. We've all had a day, but we're excited to be here with all of you. Um, we're going to start off with some, some quick announcements. Uh, Jay. Yes, me. Uh, yes, starting with the amazing Norse Foundry, uh, who provide all of our premium metal and gemstone dice that we roll here and, and on the channel and off the channel and wherever we need to roll dice. Like that. You couldn't see it because it's off camera. But you might have heard it. Uh... <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> but they sound great. Um... You can also uh, access all of their... <laughs> Shut up, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to love this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can also access their entire library of streaming, friendly, DMCA-free, royalty-free, whatever, free, 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 free music uh, on all of the streaming platforms, including YouTube as well. Uh, you can use them on your streams, you can use them in videos, you can use them tabletop at home, uh, wherever you want, you can, you can just enjoy it. And that's Norse Foundry. Awesome. You know what oh, else we got? Also, oh. I'm catching up with everyone's giveaway prizes. I got into a snafu because of their move and things. Uh, so they weren't restocking a lot of things, so uh, I'll be reaching out to people if you haven't received your stuff. Uh, and I'll, I, I'll either be sending you what you need, or, uh, sending a gift card for the same amount. So that you can do what you want with it then. And that's gonna be way quicker. So, yes. There you go. Also, Griffin Co. And everything that you see on our channel when we have maps that's 3D printed is brought to you by Griffin Co. Uh, you can use the code SWOLE22. This is Faye, and she wants to be heard. SWOLE22. <laughs> 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 you get 22% off of your purchase over at Griffin Co. All right. She's a loud corgi. All right. That's all. 22% oh. off. Well, now's the time that I tell you all about Hero Forge. Our fully custom player minis come from the awesome Hero Forge. Designer oh, today at heroforge.com. Fantastic. I also forgot to mention that uh, we're all wearing bows today uh, because uh, Ashley won the holiday trivia what, uh, Jeopardy. That we play Jeopardy. Jeopardy. That's what. It, yeah. And uh, this was her wish. So. All I yeah. want. Everyone, show off your bows. I think. Oh, Mike. Mike's bow is bigger than mine. Oh, Jeff. So I can't work well, that, that direction. There we go. I'm compensating it. for my lack of cool hair. Mm, that makes sense. This is your cool hair. This is All right. I think uh, with that, let's get into it.
one. <laughs> All right. Well, our band of misfits have found themselves reunited for the first time in two decades at their school reunion. Uh, Gavin had invited them all to partake in a new game for old time's sake, and, you know, after a brief ritual, uh, to everyone's astonishment, they discovered themselves transported to a brand new world. Uh, upon taking hold of their chosen die, uh, transformed into real heroes. Uh, as the unfamiliar landscape began to take shape, they learned to harness their newly awakened powers, uh, however, their presence in this new world appears to have destabilized it. Uh, there's some periodic shifts and quakes that seem to rip the part of the world, but something seems to be holding it back together. Uh, in order to complete the ritual, they've learned, they will all need to convene and decide whether to return home or continue playing the game. The only member absent from the group is Gavin. You find yourself stepping outside of the Sitting Duck Tavern, leaving the grumpy Grace Ellen Windrunner to her business. Uh, looking out from <laughs> the front deck of this tavern, uh, you're now looking out uh, from top of a large hill overlooking a settlement below. Uh, the sky is a deep purple. You can see just these huge clusters of galaxy clouds and uh, luminescent blues and red lights just kind of show through the whole sky with these two, th or, sorry, these three moons um, in a perfect line, each one larger than the last. Though it may seem like night, the ground level is as clear as day. Um, and a, from where you're standing, a long wooden staircase leads down to a strangely familiar bustling town below. Um, an ancient, massive stone wall surrounds the town, draped in vines that grow these glowing, bright orange crystals. Uh, petrified trees rise up from uh, rise up from the ground, and these same crystal vines seem to be draped over like hundreds of wires connecting the buildings to the trees, the trees to the walls, and the walls to the ground. Uh, they shed a dull electric glow as dozens of wooden structures can be seen built near channels of canals that run through the town. Uh, this electric neon lights you can see uh, hanging from some of these, these buildings, advertising various shops and restaurants. You recognize this place, but only from your collective minds, from the game you used to play long ago. I'd like to welcome you all to Gleam Hollow. Ooh. Acid. Gleam Hollow. Hmm. What would you all like to be doing? Is uh, you're you're standing on a on a wooden uh, kind of deck, so to speak, looking out over the settlement and a long staircase uh, in front of you. Is there anyone about? Uh, yeah, it is. It seems to be a pretty bustling town down below. Uh, actually. How about how about everybody gives me uh, a wisdom check for me? Oh shit! Really? There it goes. That's, there one, it goes. that's one success. <laughs> Ayo. In, and a fail. There we go. Where'd the other one go? And so we roll one die per stat no. point. That's correct. Uh, <laughs> four pluses are your succeeds. And uh, yeah, this this would be kind of your perceptions. What happens when you? What, what does it mean when you roll a one? Uh, nothing you in die. particular. Uh, if you roll one and no successes, uh, that is considered a critical failure. Uh, but on perception check, this is. I see nothing. You're focused on. I, I'm a. Uh... Yeah, fail, fail. Two I fails see, for Eloise. I got two fails. Damn you guys. I, so, I'm sitting here. I'm still convinced that this is a VR release from Larian Studios. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is, this is not you real. Go. This is a game. So Lionel has a... Uh, this is Baldur's Gate 6. Baldur's Gate 6, yes. How about uh, Frankie? 
Uh, I have a six and a four. Hey, hey. critical success and two successes. Okay. Fantastic. Um, let's start with Frankie. Um, at first, actually, you see, you know, looking out over the whole I don't know, settlement here, uh, you can see a large yeah. castle-like structure can be seen off the distance, um, surrounded by another like kind of stone wall, similar to the one that surrounds the entire uh, town. Um, the the people that you see kind of moving about down below um, they seem to be primarily those uh, amphibious type creatures uh, in various, some are very dark skin uh, and some are lighter skin, some have pinker skin, uh, but all with the similar bright uh, frills coming out of their heads. Uh, the other mm-hmm. type of people are Leonin. Uh, so these, these seem to be the two main types of people uh, people in this settlement here. Um, Frankie, outside of the city walls, uh, does appear to be a dense forest. Um, and off to your off to your left, past the the wall. Um, so from the, your vantage point up up, t- up top, you can see, uh, yeah, this dense forest kind of rises up, uh, like like you're in a valley, mm-hmm. uh, and and so like the the mountain kind of rises up and. Uh, the forest kind of goes up uh, in that direction. Uh, at the top of this mountain, you do see uh, a bare cliff that protrudes, um, and, and it kind of overhangs uh, where the the three moons are um, seen off in the distance. Um, Frankie, you hear a familiar voice pop into your head. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, hello, dear. Uh, it seems as though your your master has finished more parts of this world. Um, I do have. I do have a proposition for you. Oh, good. Um, uh, I already uh, I already owe you one debt, so I can. Um, I'm, ha- I'm happy to. Do whatever you need. Up in the distance, up there. The cliff? A temple resides there. An abomination of nature has taken up residence in that temple of mine. It's not too far. Slay this thing and your debt is paid. I would be happy to uh as long as my friends agree to come with me i'm not the most powerful on my own um and if i need your help could maybe i ask for it and you wipe out my old debt and a possible new one hmm you're getting greedy um that's what everyone says about assertive women i'm just trying to argue for my own uh, well-being. <laughs> How about if you need me, just call. I can always use more favors. Uh, certainly, thank you. Uh, I, I, uh, I appreciate it. I will go rid that, uh, rid your temple of that vermin for you. I'll take that as a yes to my proposition, and I'll see you soon. Yes, uh, uh, be, be well, and I'll, like, uh, like, toast my scepter, or, like, my, uh, staff. Like, I don't know how to do this. Like, yet. yeah. <laughs> how do you say uh, goodbye I, to a god? I don't know. I, as you, as you go to, like, raise up your, your, your staff, or your, your scepter, uh, you're realizing that, like, when you're speaking to Vistra, uh, it's like time stops. And as you go to, like, lift up, you're like, oh, you kind of snap out of it. You're like, oh, well, like, what am I doing? Kind of thing. Okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, so as I'm kind of looking out of the distance. Was Frankie? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Flamie. Talk. I think we lost Paul. Sorry. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry, your audio cut. Oh, was Frankie talking out loud? Like, no, you could not hear anything that Frankie was saying. Um, so, uh, I, as I'm okay. seeing this town in the valley, and there's that uh, overhang, or that, that outlook, um, I'll turn to the rest of the group and just say, um, so, you know how earlier uh, I sort of eviscerated all those those bad guys in like one fell swoop? Um, so yeah, I, um, I kind of made a pact with the deity and I owe them a favor. And um, since we're friends, you know, um, we should, I was asked to go clear out that temple up there on the very beautiful mountain below the three very beautiful moons. Uh, it'd be a great scenic walk uh, and I need your help. What's in there? Uh, she used the term abomination but um, I would like to I would say pest. Cool. I mean she wouldn't <laughs> send you into something that you couldn't handle so sure. Thank you. Yay. Uh, good, good. I'm still getting uh, sort of used to this. I'm not used to the magic is real aspect. Uh, thanks, Lucky. Um, Lionel, Fleming, Eloise? Um, you know, typically in games like this, they scale the, the challenges to your level, so I, I think we should be able to take this quest, right? But, like, if she's a god, why can't she just, like, smite whatever it is? Like, why does she need us to do it? I mean, nobody Maybe. said she needed it. It might just be a chance for Frankie to prove loyalty. Yeah. Well, maybe she can't get in the cathedral. Or that. She got up. Um, God of the Wild? I believe that's right, right? That's okay. correct. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I have several <laughs> written down. <laughs> Interesting and ambiguous. Hey, Kevin, yeah. with my success, would I be able to see a reflective surface anywhere? Um, yes, and getting to your success, uh, but uh, for your your reflective surface question, um, down below there are uh, canals of water that seems to be kind of cutting through most of the town. Uh, you would gather the yeah, getting to any of these would have some sort of reflective surface. Um, and as you're looking down uh, into the into the settlement below, uh, you can see um, actually a Leonin addressing a group, a crowd of people, actually, um, kind of proudly standing on on a, on a stage, if you will, and. Uh, you can't hear it from here, but he, he looks from what you're, you can, from your uh, perception, uh, he looks to be trying to like calm people down. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a note of the canal. Uh, hey, do you guys see what's going on down there? You can all see it. Yeah, they... does, the, does the crowd look like it's like like rambling? Uh, a bit, getting... yeah. Uh, and as you're all kind of taking it in, now you're starting to see, you know, that there are, there are more people that seem to be carrying belongings um, that seem to be like coming to this area and trying to hear what this Leon is saying. Seems to be dressed not in uh, I'm just not in like the military garb, but like in more uh, fancy wear. Uh, yeah. Do I see anyone I'm in gonna go of out. military garb like the two what? in the bar? Yes. Uh, several seem to be patrolling, especially on the walls themselves. Um, down below, you can see some of them are uh, just kind of strewn about as well, uh, military folks. Uh, Fleming, I think you were going to say something. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, hi, Elon. Tell me about the local current news in Gleam Hollow. The local current news. Um, well, the weather is fine. Uh, clear day, and below you can see the two types of people who live in this town: uh, the Asholot people and the Leonin. Um, currently. <laughs> The top news story of the settlement is <laughs> displacement outside the city walls has caused uh, refugees. The mayor of, yes. the, of the settlement uh, seems to be addressing them. I imagine Fleming has like this news ticker. Like going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certain yeah. stocks are up and, and down, it, and it's it, it's yep. got little pop up. It's got little pop ups of what what uh, what the drip is that the Leonin's wearing, and I can click on it and buy it if I want to. You know, sure can. <laughs> good. Nice Damn, that looks good. <laughs> got the QVC um, add on. <laughs> I'd like to go down there and approach one of the yep. military-looking uh, figures who's kind of. Around the crowd. I was going to suggest that we go nearby just to kind of hear what's going on before we head up the cliff. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. As you all head down these these stair the staircase down to the actual settlement below, um, now you feel like you're the, the, the tall walls. Like you feel like you're really in the city, so you can kind of feel them just kind of overbearing there. Um, as you do get close, um, yeah, you, you just hear yeah this Leonin uh, addressing some of the folks who are saying, "Yeah, yeah, call, I, I understand your concerns. Um, we are we are we were dealing with it the best we can. Uh, the king is not going to be sending any resources uh, at this moment, but we do ask you all to stay calm. We will find placement for you." Um, and then you hear people kind of like shouting in the back, like, how are we going to farm our farms? And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I do want to hang back from everyone else. And is the canal, is that like next to where we are? Yeah, I, uh, definitely. One of the one of these canals, as you're walking near it, you you pass by and yeah, reflect so on the surface. I'll go up to the canal when I see that the group is kind of like going and doing what I suggested, <clears throat> and, uh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll kneel down at the uh, at the side and kind of make it look like I'm taking like handfuls of water to drink. Okay. So I'll kind of pull back my hood a little bit and inspect the fresh scar. That is coming up my neck and onto the top of my cheekbone. Yeah. Um, you can feel this is the uh, <laughs> scarring, and it's kind of you can see this this black, um, like uh, like the veins from inside have turned black, and new ones have formed, but they're they're kind of creeping. <laughs> up towards the side, like under your eye, and then heading towards the back of your, your temple. Take a scoop of water and kind of pull my hood a little bit further over. Okay. Eloise, uh, you see a soldier. Uh, be walking, kind of just keeping an eye on things. I'll kind of like Wave him down, be like, "You, hey, you." Oh, uh, Commander, I, I didn't know you were here. Uh, yes, how can I help? Hi, yeah, um, just like, give me like a quick little rundown on the situation here. Like, what um, what's going on, and what are what are we doing? To uh, he kind of like pulls you aside. Uh, well, uh. As per orders, we, we have most of our uh, most of our uh, people st stationed on the walls, keeping an eye out. Um, it's the uh, it's the humans that seem to be 
fucking everything up, so to speak. Oh. I, I hate them. Oh my god, they suck so much. They're the worst, yes. Uh, yeah. Humans are really the, the only thing threatening our two species. Yeah. Oh my god. And and they're doing that by like doing what? Oh, so I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize how, how long you've you've been gone or uh Yes, so there are there's large groups of humans uh raiding outside of the, the towns and in all of the open areas in between uh, each of the cities. So most of uh, the individual cities uh, in in this land uh, are, are calling their citizens back to their their main settlements for for protection. But uh, this 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 caused uh, a, a lot of of chaos with most of the resources that come into the cities. You know, you have fishing and farming and uh, supplies and things uh, that they're they're getting choked off. Uh, Who's organizing them? the humans? There seems to be to be one man in, in this region. Uh, I, I, I hear, sure. we hear that there are others uh, in, in many other parts of this, this land, but uh, in this region, uh, I, I believe he goes goes by the name Chip. Chip. Gavin! <laughs> Chip, oh, okay. That's cool, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Gavin. Um, anyway, okay, so your hands are probably pretty full with this. You probably haven't had time to, like, know about the whereabouts of any, like, wizard with, like, leathery wings and, like, a little mechanical dragon, do you? Mm, no, I don't, I don't think so. Lif, you know, you do <laughs> see someone like that. Um, you will absolutely be the first to know. Love that. Great. Um, keep up the good work, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I, I will. And uh, from your, where do you where do you keep your sword? Uh, it's like a giant scabbard in my back, so it's okay. like across. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You audibly hear. And through the power of friendship, your enemies shall bow before their queen. <laughs> and the soldier looks at you and uh, is a little freaked out, uh, but he gives like a he gives a bow. And I bow back. back. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, bye now. Um, and she'll kind of like. As she goes back to the group, she'll whisper back and be like, you can talk? Sure can. Oh my god. And, I mean, your strength, it inspires me. And I think together, we could be literally unstoppable. Oh god. That's like so nice. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Once I've like... Handle on this. I know what's going on. We, we can do this. We can totally do this. And our enemies will tremble before us. Oh my god! Yes! Yes, they will! <laughs> you know how I'm always competing with, uh, with, her, with her? I'm like, my Elon is cooler. <laughs> <laughs> my Elon knows things. Lucky, what's Lucky doing? Uh, mm -hmm. Observing. I feel like there's like a half wall or something and she's just kind of like walking along like a cat on top of it, just kind of like dragging her foot to each side of the wall and just kind of watching people and maybe like doing a circle and going back the other way and just kind of, you know, <laughs> listening in to uh, Eloise talking to herself and not really sure what to think about that and maybe even taking 
did you go down? <laughs> to, are you close to where we are with the river, um, Jay? What? Lionel. I've Lionel? like, yeah, I've like, I've I've caught back up with you. Oh, moment. okay, okay. I was just trying to make sure I kind of watched what everyone else was doing, but also kind of just flitting oh, around. Oh, yeah, you, you probably would have seen me go to the canal. Okay. Just, you know, flitting around, looking at things. Fucking Gavin. Like, he's supposed to put us in a game to fight dragons and ogres, and we've got farming issues and overpopulation. Like, we, we escaped real reality to play a fucking game, not deal with farmers, dude. It's like, uh, model you in. <laughs> <laughs> Are we human? Uncertain. Okay. Do we look looking, like Are they looking at us like we're the bad guys? Um, people aren't looking at you like you're bad guys. Um, Give me a wisdom check. I mean, we could totally play Is darker. Is that why they were all looking yeah. at us weird and fearful in the tavern? No. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you're you're getting different types of looks. Um, certain people are looking at you like, um, like holy shit, like these people look powerful. Uh, and others uh, look at you in fear, but uncertain, like if they're directed towards anyone specific or it's just you as a group, <clears throat> hard to tell. Hmm. Okay. I'll make sure that I tell everyone what I learned from the soldier dude. Okay. So are we wanting to deal with the rabble and what I assume is Chip Horton incarnate in this world. Um, or can we deal with my uh, deity's pest? Because this town the is really cool, but... The deity's pest is like on the way. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not into this Fallout community buildings type game. Let's go okay, for the quest. If we have the chance to like cut Chip's head off, like, for fun, I think it'll be really cathartic for all of us. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah, let's uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Who knows, right. maybe it's the same thing. The Abomination and Chip might be. That would be, you know, two birds, one stone. That would be great. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. Gavin wouldn't have th thought of that, no. Nah. It might have nah. been too easy as well. Nah, I don't think so. Unless Chip is not the final boss. Yeah, I get the feeling like Chip is like... They said that he's only one of several, like, leaders who are, like, organizing this. Hmm. Maybe he just borrowed the mm -hmm. name? Who knows? I mean, Gavin's a pretty smart guy. Yeah, but you're put on the spot to think up a random name when your player asks something. Like, it, you can say anything, really. It just happens. True, I, true. In that moment. I wouldn't know, but in that moment, like, who Yeah, um, that's fair. Uh, well, um, do we want to stop by any of these neon shops or talk to the mayor? He seems kind of busy. this handled i mean there's like my soldiers and stuff are like they're on it they're like doing it they're like helping and stuff is there an yeah. inside trick i was gonna say are they helping <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh wiz we're going with wisdom here okay oh are they helping that's, that's one success i have a double success on that one double success Ooh. One success. Okay. Okay. Uh, getting a, more of an insight into how this, the people are kind of viewing everybody. Um, 
there does seem to be a a fear towards uh, just the soldiers in general. Uh, more specifically, I mean, now you're noticing like people are looking at Eloise and like keeping a wide berth. Uh, the people Ooh. actually, to you, Lionel, like the, the normal folks in the town, um, generally seem to you know, regard you in high spirits. Soldiers, not so much. But they look at you and, and kind of give like a, a nod, uh, like someone yeah, passing is like a nod, but doesn't want to get close because of who you are associated with. That's what you get from that. Cool. I do the, the weird white guy lick. <laughs> <laughs> just, I guess just confused because people were scared of me in the bar and now people are like soldiers. actively uh, soldiers didn't like you in the bar oh uh, okay got it and people are scared of Eloise hmm. Hmm. guys I'm the people's champion Uh, who had who had the most successes there? I had two. You had two successes. Uh, Lucky, I would say um, you can off in the distance on one of the buildings. You can see uh, Gavin's metallic familiar dragon, pseudo dragon, <clears throat> perched, kind of looking around. I'm just gonna <laughs> whistle, and I can't whistle very well, but my character would. Um, I'm just gonna whistle and be like, and like move, and just like point and start walking that way. That was a really good whistle. That was a great whistle. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Great whistle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and as you do whistle, uh, the familiar actually looks in your direction, uh, seeming to spot you for the first time, and flies. I, I give it a wink. It flies towards you and towards your group, uh, lands on a nearby wall, um, and kind of perches there. Do you speak? Its mouth opens, and you see a speaker box where its mouth waits waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> and through the speaker box, uh, you hear Gavin's voice. Hmm. Uh, it's it sounds like uh, communicating like through a radio with really bad static. And he says, and he's breathing heavily. I've okay. I found a pool of power hidden in the labyrinth of the jaws of bone. I, I think we can complete. The ritual here, but for now, I'm trying to stabilize this place from falling apart. As he says, falling apart, you just you feel that rumbling sensation again throughout this whole town. Come find me, and and quickly. This this world kept changing behind me, and and its its dangers do seem to be pulling straight from our minds. But I think I think we can do this. I just yell out, fuck you, Gavin, for putting us in some beta version lame-ass game. It's falling apart while we're in it. Uh, did, did you just say that we things are manifesting from our mind? All of us? And then the message starts again. I've I found a pool of power oh. hidden and then kind of continues. Like you recorded it and had to send it off. Cool. As we hear the repeat coming back, fucking Gavin! <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell us where it was? Like, Fleming. Said, it the said it was in the jaws of bone. Right. So Fleming, you have a map, right? Oh, we have a map. I don't know. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Elon. Directions to the jaws of bone. The labyrinth of the jaws. labyrinth. Of the jaws of bone? 
Some, that's what it said. Okay. Listen to it again, yeah. and I'll just kind of motion for the bird to say it again. Or the, the dragon. Can we, like, track? There's a tiny little uh, uh, screen on its chest, yeah. uh, and, it, and it changes depending on you know what what. Get forward five seconds. Like yeah, Get forward. Double tap for ten seconds. <laughs> uh, it, it does say within the labyrinth uh, of the jaws of the bone, uh, and then Fleming, you hear a, your AI voice come up. If you'd like to unlock. Uh, the navigation, uh, this would cost one more fair gold. Isn't that the last one you have? Like, literally, in-app purchases on my fucking AI? <laughs> so uh, many microtransactions. Microtransactions of my AI? This is freaking lame, dude. Fucking Thank Gavin! <laughs> like, I, I I take the fair gold out, and I'm looking at it, and like, I didn't realize how much I want to hold on to this, because all my cool powers are driven by this, and like, summoning up a map is pretty lame. Well, look, man. Why don't you hold on to that one for now, and we can see if we can get you more because we've got at least at least one thing to do. True, true. Hey, Elon. Yeah. How many hours in the day here? Uh, the day is a normal 24 hours. Normal as to what you are probably used to. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Let's take care of our first quest, then. All right. We're abomination bound. Should we uh, find out if there's a map here in this town that we can get? Yeah, I mean, that does sound like a good idea, uh, Lucky. I think, um... I mean, it is, it, we're in a valley and we can see that up there, but who knows how to get up there. I know I've, I've, I've had, I've talked to some folks, you know, in our world about, you know, like getting lost in Appalachia and stuff, and it's never fun. So it's always good to have a, a map. Right. Is there a, uh, is, is there like a commoner that I can see that's like particularly afraid of the of the gods uh of the of the guards uh yeah absolutely someone yeah, you see uh, the guard that eloise was talking to as he starts to walk towards the crowd uh one of them just like def, like kind of cowers and like tries to get to the opposite side of the crowd <clears throat> uh one sec guys i'll be right back and i'm gonna follow them Okay. Until they kind of stop. And then, just like in the crowd, I just want to walk past them, put my hand on their shoulder, and just whisper in their ear, fear no god. And then just keep walking. And I'm going to attempt to control with that one. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and give me a roll with your. So that's dive. a crazy pool. <laughs> Uh, that's three successes out of four. And the intensity... Ooh. The intensity is four. Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, you you can tone it up or... Well, you, you can tone it down. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like. <laughs> or you could... Uh, and as a reminder... Um, yeah, so with the intensity... It starts... You said it's four? Yep. Yeah, so we're starting at, like, it's more intense than, like, a love for a soulmate. That's where we're starting. Oof, wow. This is, yeah. Which direction? Yeah, I'm like, I'll, I'll leave it there. I want to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you see, he looks at you. Uh, it's a it's a smaller 
a shallot creature, uh, but looks at you and thank you. You know what? You're right. And he begins to like tap on like some of the other other people's shoulders, like, "Hey, we don't have to take it. We don't have to stay here. They can't keep us here. We can we can leave. We can go find our another place to live." These pe- these these guards trying to control us. The commander here is not our commander. And some start listening, uh, and now you can see like a small little like crowd starting to form around this this singular. Uh... I'll make my way just back to the group through the crowds. Like, okay, are we ready to go? Did did is any of that witnessable by us? Uh, you all that you were probably able to witness was Lionel's character going into the crowd, and then now it's starting to as he's walking back, it's beginning to get a little bit more uh, rambunctious uh, as as people are starting to uh, shout things and it's like, yeah, we don't have to no. take it. No. Um. I shout if along. I hear if I hear someone say something to that effect, like they they don't have to take it or they can go where they want to go, I am going to invite them to come with us to the temple. Hey, we're gonna go evict somebody out of this temple. There might be some space for you up there. I mean, you could help. Is there, is there a pool of water? Ah. Uh, we're looking for a, a, a lake of some sort. It's a temple, so maybe, maybe Frankie. You mean the would temple? You mean the temple at the top of the cliff? Yeah, that one. Yeah. We're not going yeah. there. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Why? In fairness, I was pretty specific with what not to fear. <laughs> oh. Okay. Don't care about guards, what but guards. Shit up fuck there. That place especially. <laughs> <laughs> Not going there, lady. <laughs> oh my god. Suit yourself. <laughs> There's just one rain cloud over that. <laughs> that <little area>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. So we, uh, you gonna go? Yep, uh, I guess. Thanks for trying to help, Lucky. I don't know, I was just trying to get us some backup yeah i mean to be fair i did i don't know what's in there right so it's not like i was knowingly (laughs) sending them all to their death (laughs) (laughs) that's very true um do we need a bag to get up there or we did we solve that already we can see it yeah, can we can we see like a swirling path going up the cliff? I couldn't I couldn't oh, get a map to the jaws of bone, the labyrinth. But maybe I can get a map to this. Hey Elon, can you show us the fastest directions to the temple on the cliff? You see, just a singular waypoint marker appear on your heads-up display. <laughs> but no, no path leading you there. <laughs> Because as the crow flies, uh, yeah. certainly. Here Can is. we turn on no clip and just like? Yeah. <laughs> Time to Skyrim horse this all the way up. <laughs> just jumping <just laughs> straight up the cliffside over and over for hours. <laughs> Clearly the fastest way. Yeah. This is saving me so much time. <laughs> if I look around, can I see a pathway that leads somewhat towards that direction? Uh, you don't see a pathway from here, uh, and that's mainly because you're within the, the walled city. Uh, but oh, if right. you were to leave, you you might see something else. Let's okay. Let's go. Let's go. It's I a just temple. Go. Somebody's okay. used the temple before. It's got to be a way up. Okay. Um, yeah, as you kind of progress through the town, uh, the, the ruckus in the background growing a little bit more, uh, a little, little chaotic, um, as you're walking through the town, you're seeing these, uh, 
these <laughs> crystals uh, seem, and, and these vines things like kind of hanging draped over kind of all of the town, uh, lighting your path and, and all of the, these streets here. Um, yeah, you come to a main gate. Uh, seems to be made of stone. Um, two two guards at the top seem to be like watching out over over the edge. Um, but yeah, is it shut? It is shut. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, Eloise, you wanna work your magic over here? <laughs> Commander, yes. Hey, like, let us in. We can. Where are you going? Oh, we're oh, going. Do you need? Do we need what? Uh, do you need anything? Well, so nice of you to ask. We are going up to the temple there's like a thing in there if you know anything about that but also oh my god like we are trying to find the way up there and then also to some other stuff do you have like something do you have a map i don't have a map um now there uh and you see one of them is already starting to like raise up the uh the stone wall for you um, however, the, there used to be a path a uh, long time ago, but it's since overgrown. Uh, it's the entrance is, is over there. Uh, I, I don't really know how to uh, give you a map per se, but uh, I, I can at least lead you to the, the front part where the path used to be. Great! That is really useful. Okay, uh, yeah. let me let me just and then he it's like awkwardly tries to figure out the quickest way down, uh, and then yeah, eventually finds his way down. Just no clip. Um, also, um, fun little like side note. Everyone down there is like a little like oh about us. What is? We're like we're not like we're not we're not like the baddies. Right? Like we're like, good. <laughs> we're not, we're oh, not no. a baddie. We're simply trying to help. Uh, we need to keep our people safe, and here is the best place for them. And you but agree. they have like a choice to like go where they want to. Well. Maybe, maybe that's an approach we should try. Maybe, I, I, <clears throat> I command as your commander. <laughs> um, but like, like, I mean, like, keep them safe. And like, you know, Abby, like, people out there want to hurt them. And like, they're going to be defended better, like, in a city with walls. But like, maybe, like, they would be happier about it if. Like, we don't, like, enforce it by, like, violence, right? Like, we don't do that, right? Uh, well, sometimes it's necessary to keep people uh, in a place. Uh, and sometimes they don't want to be there. If there is a <laughs> command that you have... Uh, I if you could at least put it in writing for me, I can definitely take it to uh, my higher up uh, to distribute. I don't have the authority. Uh, I can absolutely do what you need to be done uh, as you can command me. Uh, but I think, I don't know if I can't tell everyone, if you could just put it in writing, sure. that would be really helpful. I would be happy to. And you know, and then it's coming from me, and I command it. Yes. Absolutely. Great. Um, does anyone have a piece of paper? No. Oh, okay, I... <laughs> I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. 
<laughs> I like open my adventurer pack and just like pull out like rope and rope and rope. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't have thought to give us parch fucking Gavin. Okay. It's like a clown's pocket. Just yeah. like yeah. <laughs> rope, more rope and more rope. Great, great. Well, you know I. Uh, do you have a piece of paper? I can go find one. Great. That's yes. my next. Okay. Command. Yes. Ah. I will. Yeah. I will do that first. I'll be right back. Would you like to wait? He, he takes off running. Okay. He's <laughs> just like. I just like, I got like a really bad like, People like didn't like. I, I, I think they <laughs> like you. I think they just also fear you. Hmm. I think less people fear you now. I'm just trying to look over towards you. <laughs> <laughs> on them good yeah yeah oh, that's good yeah okay okay I, okay I can feel better about that. for some reason I just imagine that entire crowd like turning as one like <laughs> <laughs> it angrily at you. Walks like, yeah, they suddenly have uh have signs that they've made to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Small fires and broken. Fear no guard. Yeah. Whoa, that was so fast. See, they all had writing implements. <laughs> <laughs> They're a prepared round. Ask them. <laughs> so are we uh, like... waiting for guy to come back? Are the other guys like having to hold this wall? Up? Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's been like, this like, thing. Like, like, we're oh. right under it. <laughs> we yeah. haven't, like, we're like a cat who hasn't decided to go in or out yet. <laughs> just, just, shadow, just shadow over us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, uh, I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to hold us up. I just like. I just like. I don't like when people like don't like me, you know. And some of the flowers just kind of like wilt. Mm. I'll see this and remember what happened before, and I'll be like, but your bows are nice. Oh, thank you, Lucky. Your, your bows, like, start to float again. <laughs> on their own. I'll just kind of roll my eyes and sigh. Yeah, I just squint my face like, oh. ugh. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting, um, I'm gonna turn over to Lucky, and then I'm gonna try to pull up, pull up her her uh, her character sheet. Okay. And I'm like, I'm curious. I've seen, I've seen Eloise talking to her sword. I've seen Frankie talking to the god of the hyphae. I've seen uh, Lionel mind control somebody. I'm looking you at, I'm looking at, at, at this character sheet. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. What what do I see? I'm like going through uh, Lucky's skills and uh and uh level progression for, for <laughs> powers. I'm trying. Uh, to... I would say, Lucky, what what would you like to share of just uh, of your Ability, so I, I think that it would just have like, like an avatar of me spinning, and it would have like a couple of like daggers. Is that what I picked? Sorry, hang on just a second. A couple of throwing mm -hmm. knives, and a pistol, which you can already see on my person that I carry. Okay. Um, and then it'll just above it say, "I'm just here to have fun." And that's all it'll say. Yeah, everyone else has a character class, uh, yeah. and hers is just like, it actually just comes up and it's like, fuck you, Fleming. I'm just here to have fun. I'm like, I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm always jealous because I'm a power gamer. 
when I, when we play this game, and so like I'm always comparing my character to the other people's characters, and like lucky not have any visible powers and skills makes me kind of uh, wary. Cause freaking Gavin gave Eloise a, a, a damn army. I'm like, what the heck? Lucky oh, guy. He, so maybe a bad guy. <laughs> the soldier comes back. I found a piece of paper. Oh, thank God. Uh, and a, and a writing utensil. Okay. <laughs> like, the I pen. forgot the pen. The pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he, he handed it to you both. Um, Make sure you write really legibly because you may be starting an uprising as you do this. No, I don't want to like start drama. I'm just trying to like. You're the head of like the military and you're telling the military to not do their job. But whatever, <laughs> man, I just do what you want to do. It's just, it's not no, no, she's making them do women. Eloise is Dormen? totally Dormen? unqualified Dormen? to be a leader of an army. I'm just Excuse saying. Excuse me? When we were in model UN, I, I'm pretty I sure been a better, I, I would have been a better commander. I would have been a better commander. I'm just saying. Okay, you only placed above me in Model UN because you chose New Zealand. No one fucks with New Zealand. Try to run freaking France for a second, dude. Anyway. <clears throat> Dear soldiers. Oh. It's going well. Commanding stuff. I think, and she crosses that out. Hey. <laughs> Hey. I'll lean over to Frankie and go, better. Don't be violent with the people you are supposed to be protecting. And she underlines protecting. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Like, comma. Keep them safe from those nasty humans. Ugh. And Chip, who is the worst. <laughs> but like, be nicer about it. You guys. Hearts, Commander Eloise. <clears throat> Do you sign Eloise with a heart dotting the I? Absolutely, I do. I knew it. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. I, I was watching over her shoulder, and I'm, a, I'm just like shaking my head. I'm like, how the hell did you even get validatory? This is so stupid. This, I'm, I could do better with Elon GPT. Like, do you want me to ask Elon to like, I can prompt him and get you a more commanding. I don't need your like psycho ai who like i i don't i don't it, this is fine this is fine we're just we're talking like we're just like people you know we're just like connecting and it's like anyway here's this so like commandment i don't know what we're on now but like take us to the thing and then take this and then take it to your to the... yes okay you have to like All right. photocopy it or something. I I don't know what that is. There's probably a scribe somewhere. We'll figure it out. I this is good. This this is very good. It has your signature on it. They will at least believe me when I tell them that you told me to. Yes. Okay. To the entrance of this, uh, <clears throat> the pathway up up the mountain. Yes. Yeah. Please. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a bit of a hike. Uh, this next part, you know, he's just walking you out of, of the town. Um, way oh, out yeah. in the distance, you can see uh, there's smoke coming from somewhere. Uh, it's nothing too alarming, uh, but it's something that you note. Um, 
it probably takes about an hour or so uh, of hiking to this this area, uh, and then you do finally get to um, what looks to be like you can see kind of where a path, like a, a the beginning of a, a stone path was, uh, and then it goes into a forest and look now it just looks like completely overgrown. There's even like trees and plants growing from immediately where the uh, the road was. Uh, this is the entrance here. Uh, I will get this message back to uh, the leader and, and we'll get this tr distributed and uh, yes, I all will be all will be well. Is uh, is, that, is that all you need needed for me, Commander? Yeah. Okay. Before the soldier leaves. Hey. Do you know how far we are from the labyrinth of the jaws of bone? Jaws of bone. Uh, you feel this place begin to shake again. Uh, it, he stops kind of like speaking. You're all kind of moving normally, but like whenever this happens, it seems like the world kind of stands still for a moment. Uh, see a quake, uh, a a fissure kind of forming in the ground, similar to what you've seen before. Uh, quaking continues, and then something's like pulling it back together. Um, could you roll a charisma check with your character die? Can I help? Add adding my character die. Is there, is there yes. a help function? Mm. I don't think I'm gonna. Need sure, it. you can okay. go add advantage to it. Why not? So there roll everything twice. No. no. Oh, sorry. Uh, advantage gives you one extra die. I don't have that many out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> not enough. Okay, hang dice. on. I'll just. They're I'll reusable. Just... I think Ghost Foundry. The dice are I reusable. Can... <laughs> Disposable dice. Dang it! How do I keep buying these? DM wow. makes me roll so much. I'm running out of dice. <laughs> so, so that ended up me rolling six dice, <laughs> sixteen. Oh my God. And I had, yeah, which gave me four successes. Four successes. Okay. Uh, something seems to to change uh, in, the, in the soldier as the world like, kind of comes back together and uh, by some strange stroke of luck um, did you say the jaws of bone? I did. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, this this path the temple up above uh, was known as the jaws of bone. But you shouldn't. Get is, is, that, is that where you're? Is that where you're headed? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I mean, what? What if it was? The uh, there might be. That's you're clearly mm -hmm. capable uh, of of handling yourselves, but. Uh, there are people who have gone up there don't ever return uh, and we, we do believe that what might be up there is what Chip might be searching for mm. and, and do you know what that is? I, I, I don't mm. no, one have, no one's ever returned so it's hard Hard to know. Wouldn't that bad if we didn't return? Isn't that the whole point? If we find Gavin, we're getting the fuck out of here. Um, well, I appreciate your help. Also, why did you take us here if you knew that people don't return from here? You can see his brain is, like, melting. I, his boss told him to. Um, okay. Yes. Yes, I was commanded to. No, like it's more than that, but okay. 
You can only put okay. so many like directives into one NPC. <laughs> you run out of dialogue. On <laughs> you just you just have the leave option now. <laughs> leave. <laughs> no, nothing else to say. It's just leave. Yeah. That'll that'll do. Thanks. I gotta get going. Stop! <laughs> you violated the law. All right, go with any. Hey, so again, takes off. two birds, one stone. Maybe. Seems like it. And I'm just gonna start walking through the trees, like <laughs> ducking and like going through where the path is. Okay. All right. Uh, as you begin to head up this uh, this trail, um, let's go ahead and take our break here as you start to head into this forest. We will be back in 10 minutes. Sounds good. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds standard. everybody our band of heroes found themselves wandering into a forest down a path we'll see what happens um i think lucky you were the first to you're kind of making your way through the <laughs> i heard it <laughs> <laughs> I heard it only through like your head bob. I... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and yeah, I would like you to uh, actually no. What what you're seeing in front of you? Uh, it's now kind of this this path has definitely just been choked up by a bunch of uh, plants and trees. Uh, up ahead, it just kind of descend or it ascends into darkness hard to see i mean eloise has a big sword 
Is it she glowing? Sure does. Um. Yeah, let's say yeah, it is still glowing. Uh, yeah. Bestie, it's your time to shine, and she pulls it out. I've named my sword Bestie. Bestie, <laughs> beautiful. Okay. She'll pull it out uh, to emit some light, and she'll kind of like work her way to the front too to start like hacking through any. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, is it like nighttime, or did it just get dark? It is not nighttime. It, yeah. It's just oh, sorry. Okay. You said, no, no, I was I, asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just uh, yeah. Now it's just foliage and things have Got choked it. out kind of this uh, the light in here. Um, and yeah, Eloise, uh, Bestie just responds, and by your side, I'll shine even brighter. <laughs> and just. <laughs> You can see it like erupts into flame, and as you begin to just like start chopping through plants and material and stuff, it's just it's slicing like butter, like nothing. Can God, how would it feel like she's stuck in a feedback loop with this? <laughs> <laughs> can we hear the sword? You can. Okay. Yeah, because the god the god bowed earlier because the sword told him to. Uh, that's true. Um, I, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching Eloise's uh, three attack chain or heavy attack chain. Just <laughs> she's like, and then oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My it's, face the same. it's the same repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit jump at the right moment, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're testing out all of your 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 combo moves. Yeah. Uh, and oh, each one moves less than one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Great. Diagonal perfect. up. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you continue, uh, you're, as you're, you know, mowing down the, this, these plants and, uh, these trees, uh, eventually it does start to get very misty. Now you're, now you're swinging your sword, but now it's becoming difficult to see, not because it's dark. Uh, but now it's like you're, you're, you can see the glow of your sword, uh, and now it's just kind of, it's it's almost like, uh, you know, when you turn your headlights on too much in fog, uh, it, uh, it's blinding. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Now this is starting to, you're it's bright, but now you're not able to see because it's so bright. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Turn your low beams on. Low beams. <laughs> um. I don't want to like dull your shine, but is there any way you could like, you know, chill out a little bit? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Is there a way for you to chill out a little bit? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Bestie it. clearly has no chill. <laughs> I'll just um, and she'll she be like, we'll just do this for now. Okay. And she'll she Bestie. <laughs> Um, it is, you're surrounded in mist. Um, are we, how like, how, how thick is it? Like, like sort of vision. Um, wise? if you guys are all standing in a group of about, uh, you could probably see each other. Um, maybe about three feet, I'd say is when you kind of lose Ooh. your distance. Oh, wow. Not even a full square. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> we deal in hex. This this game actually deals in hexes. Right. right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of them new fancy games. Even I'll have to say, fucking Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Hexagons. Um, I would like to, just so we don't run into anything, I would like to use a scripture. Ooh, uh, okay. And I would like to cast uh, Detect Wildlife okay. just to make sure that there's nothing sneaking up on us and that we just don't run into something. Okay. Um, yeah, as you concentrate on your scripture, um, yeah, how, how do you concentrate on your scripture as you're doing it? Um, I think for each side of that like multicolored scepter that I have, uh, there's like the dividers in between them 
uh, they can like pull out and they have the scripture written on them and then they can like zip back in um, if I let go. So I'll just like quickly unfold it. Uh, and... Like those little company flag pens? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was going to say, like, Frankie <laughs> definitely had them, like, what, like in high school that she would write with, like, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and I would, like, I would, like, cheat to use, like, the math uh, equations mm -hmm. on them and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'll pull out the scripture and uh, I'll just, um, I'll just say, the, like, the, some, it'll be, like, just sound like gibberish. Sure. Um, cause she's going to be making it up, uh, as she's, as it like appears. Um, but it'll just be like, um, show me wildlife. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> and, and as you, as you pass it, uh, yeah, uh, you get several, uh, small wildlife, uh, rodents, birds, uh, even down to the insects and spiders, you're able to sense all of it. Um, as far as anything that's in in particular, like uh, that would cause you any specific danger, um, you don't feel anything large uh, or like, yeah, that would be, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I, it says I have to roll a wisdom dice plus my d12 to see if that succeeds or fails. Does that should we should we do that or no? Yes. Are we right. sure? Can, we sure should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, wait. I just I looked down. I was like, what else does this do? And I was like, hey, they cast the scripture. I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <coughs> That's on me. My bad. I should have led with I mean, that. yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah. Well, I don't. I got a, I got a five, and then I got a nine on my D twelve. On your D twelve. Ooh. Okay. I would say uh, with your with your nine, since it is, uh, so even with your um, your assigned die, anything above six, like six or higher, yeah. is is a critical or is a Special. Oh. Uh, it's a full success. Um, you learn um, there is something to this mist um, that is not particularly natural. Um, and in order to get through it, um, you might need to do think of something else it's walking through it doesn't seem to be working oh okay um i will zip back my scripture into my scepter and i will turn to the group and just say um hey guys i'm just um uh doing some magic-y things uh obviously you all lionel realize that the fog is not very uh normal um I just checked. It's not normal, and if we just keep walking, it'll be like a forever loading screen. Um, so I don't know what we need to do, but walking won't just do it. Also, there's a lot of cute little critters around that won't cause us any harm. So, so have we been ascending, walking up? You know, in, in terms of elevation. Oh, okay. Yes, hmm. and also yep. no. But just for right now, in the mist. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have a solution. I only brought you a problem. I'm sorry. I can't solve much that can't be solved by stabbing. Do you want me to try to stab the mist? Yes. <laughs> Maybe if you swing really, really fast in a 360, you can boil the mist. <laughs> she'll take it out and she'll try to like use a sort of like whip some of it away like in like a really quick like, <sighs> you you that <laughs> and it looks exactly like you thought it would <laughs> um are, hey, can are there 
looking up. Trees? Still? Uh, trees up to a point, uh, but the mist chokes them out. The mist goes above the trees. Yep. Okay. Well, from what well, you can tell here, you can see, uh, yeah, you've only got a couple feet, a few feet. Right. Over. Yeah. I want to climb a tree. Okay. So I'm yeah. going to do that. Oh, lucky wait. What? And I'll pull out my Your rope. rope. <laughs> and I'm going to tie a part of it to like one of the many belts around it, just in case like you know, we don't want to get separated in the mist and like not be able to find each other. So we should all like hold on to this. You know, between us, we have 250 feet of hemp and rope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any rope. For a second, I thought you thought I was just going to float away. So I'm really glad that there was other reasons why you were tying a rope to me as I climb up a tree. But I'll go ahead I'm now. Really... And I'll just start <laughs> climbing. I'm really upset that you expected me to make me just float away. Okay. <laughs> Your bows <laughs> diminish. <laughs> if I see that, I'll be like, your hair looks nice. You just keep climbing up the tree. How does she know I like object permanence? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you watch her uh, ascend through the mist and she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Gone forever. Who, who was that? There's only four of us. This whole time. <laughs> uh, okay. Lucky, um, you climb to the top and you do eventually find yourself above the mist and above the tree line. What do I see? As you look around, um, you can see this mist down below doesn't take up that large of an area. It's maybe 50 by 50 or so. Um, but up ahead, you can see where the tree line kind of drops off and there's a giant kind of like uh, gorge? A cliff? Uh, so if you were to continue walking through that mist, you probably would have gone straight over wow. the edge. Cool. Uh, the, the path, you can see kind of a, where the path continues past that, and that path does not appear to be uh, obscured or uh, uh, overgrown. For some reason, something seems to be keeping the okay. stuff away. Can I mentally... You know, I'm going to try something. Yeah. So, I understood that the dragon recording from Gavin was saying that we were manifesting things here. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to think really, really hard about an opening in the mist, like a pathway that just opens the fuck up towards that it clearing for the path. So I'm just gonna like stare at the clearing and just draw my eyes backwards and see if I can split the mist, mist all the way back to us. Awesome. Um, yeah, why don't you give me a intelligence roll with your Added my special one. Special diet. Um, uh, have you you've been keeping track of your the things you've been rolling on them? I know you've only rolled mm -hmm. this one. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I have it marked for like super. Okay. Holy shit! Okay, two sixes. Oh shit! And a three on my special, which is my. <laughs> Oh, that's also um, your, like, fluke? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, so that's my, the circle, so... Describe the, you want me to read what the fluke is that it says on the sheet, or are you just gonna do a thing? Um, I got it. Okay. Um, you're standing up there, <laughs> and... Instead of manifesting just the mist parting. You know, it's just a game. 
you're you're playing with your friends. Uh, this is. What else would you do but do the dumbest thing you could? You climb down this 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 tree, um, and you begin to just you hold out your arms and just start walking backwards through the mist. Yeah. And would you like to address the the group in any way? This way. And they're attached to the rope, right? They are attached to the. I'm gonna start walking backwards. Okay. You start walking backwards, and you kind of let the mist just take you. Uh, close your eyes, <laughs> and you're kind of just seeding back into into the forest here. Um, each step, you're just you seem to be uh, maneuvering away from all of the any plant material somehow. Uh, and you do eventually come to this cliff. You, your, your last step, your heel kind of catches over the edge, uh, but you find yourself like through the mist and you can hear your friends just being dragged through a bunch of briar and like thorns and things. Uh, and it's like cussing along the way. Uh, but yeah, you managed to get yourself through. There you go. Oh, how'd you? What the? It's just a game. You got a cheat code or something, or? No, it's just a game. That was impressive. You guys think too much. Eloise is clearly thinking about that (laughs) statement. (laughs) (laughs) Do I think too much? <laughs> Am I doing it? So now? anyway, the path is clear over here and it looks like something's keeping it from, you know, being covered. So also there's a giant cliff right here. Don't fall. Oh god. Yeah, as you all look down, uh mist seems to obscure the, the bottom of this cliff. Um, but the gorge is not far. Uh I would say probably about fifteen feet to the other edge. Uh, where you can see the path kind of continues up and up the mountain. Are you okay. saying we have to go over that 15 feet? You have to go over that somehow. Okay. Rope time. <laughs> More of it. <laughs> but we got to cross a 15 foot gorge. Sure do. Yeah. I know I can't jump 15 feet in real life, but like, it's just a game. But none of us can jump. No one knows the jump rules. Says we can only walk and climb. Like, <laughs> are there any trees that like overhang this um, area? There are certainly tall trees. Taller than fifteen feet. You can certainly try to find. Oh, them. you're thinking something different than what I was thinking. I was thinking Zelda. <laughs> Um, give me, yeah, give me a lucky, give me a wisdom check. Or... Success. Success. Okay. Um, around immediately around you, you see, you know, there are certainly trees that are over fifteen feet tall. Uh, it's just that the, the they're not like particularly wide enough to be useful. Uh, but yeah, eventually you do find a pretty sizable tree that you think could hold your weight. You should chop that one down. With your bestie. Oh, me. Stabbing time. Okay. Uh, My time to shine. Literally. Oh my god, good one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And yeah, still cuts like butter. Uh, 
The tree is falling. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Any of them? Yeah, but uh, I'd say it's cutting and it's falling towards you, Eloise. Is um, it at least towards the cliff? I feel like I would have thought about that. Okay. But I don't think Eloise has ever cut down a tree to know. <laughs> Like, she has a pretty good grasp on physics, probably, but, like, practical use of it is a different story. I so it's falling question. towards me. Oh. What is your it, question, Lucky? Um, where the tree stands, if it was to fall just in the right direction, would it cross the gorge? Just in the right direction? I think so. Okay. As she starts to cut it down, I want to start running up the tree. Cool. Um, give me a, a skill check of your choice with your... I'll with do your dex. Guy. Yeah. That, that seems right. Yeah. Two successes and two failures? <laughs> yeah. Two okay. successes. Uh, you... You see, as Eloise is uh, is about to just chop this tree all willy nilly like, because that was uh, <laughs> what she was <laughs> thought she would do. Uh, but you get a running start. Um, you plant your feet on it as it's getting chopped, and like ride it like a surfboard into the right direction over the gourd, gorge, not the gourd. That'd be weird. Uh, and <laughs> you stick the landing. Uh, you. Add, you can add some flair on the how you land on the other side. <laughs> I just don't stop running. Yeah. And then I'm on the other side because I ran up the tree and it <laughs> fell and I jumped off. <laughs> yeah. I'd say uh, you even probably crossed it as it was like still in the air and like, yeah, yeah. landed on the other side. Yeah. Superhero pose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was pretty cool. Wow. Do you have a bridge? Hey, come on, dorks. How are you doing this? <laughs> it's just a game. She's just lucky, I guess. Uh. She's a lucky. She's a star. <laughs> she does not, but she does. And as you all break into song, <laughs> continue along How'd the path. How do you guys path. know my theme song? Right. Um, um, yeah. I assume Ooh. that Eloise has very shiny armor. Oh, it's the shiniest. Yeah. So I think I'll walk up to Eloise before she starts crossing the um, uh, the bridge and just be like, "Oh, you've just got a little on on your on your back on the shoulder plate. Give me," and I'll just like pretend like I'm wiping it, but I'm gonna pull back and take a look at the scarring. Spread. Getting bigger. Huh. Then I'll like... <laughs> yeah, oh my you're God, all good. You. It's so nice. Do you want to go? Sure. Yeah. Right. Well, you can continue. Yeah. Oh, so oh, you're crossing the bridge. Yes. Yeah. Easy enough. Uh, you all get across the, the bridge here. Um, the path does open up. It is, uh, it is as I mentioned, it, it's much clearer now, as if the, the path was supposed to be this way, uh, and something has, everything from down below and on has changed. Um, continue on for a little while. Uh, I'd say another half hour or so until you finally come to an entrance. Um, it's now becoming a little bit darker outside. Uh, the sky hasn't necessarily changed, uh, but the, the ground level does seem to be a little harder, get a little like evening time. Um, as you approach, you remember 
the drawing that Gavin had, he always carried on his on the outside of his three ring binder, the image of the jaws of bone, the jagged maw of the entrance that looms before you now, built entirely of skeletal remains of all kinds of creatures twisted into one large mocking grin. Two tall tusks protrude from the ground, uh, giving this open mouth large underbite. Uh, there are torches stuck in the ground, lit, uh, and they light the path into this cave um, as the kind of dim flickers of the torchlight reveal just bones piled high within and just lining the, the middle of the walls here. A foul stench yeah. sails your nostrils and uh, you know, the smell of decay and mildew is just hanging kind of heavy in the, in the air here. As we approach, I'm going to be like, fucking metal. And grab a torch. <laughs> as, you, as you say, fucking metal, like, even a, like a little metal, like, like, a little lightning bolt. Maybe I do have powers. Fleming, you would remember this uh, as you took extensive notes uh, on in the game and always remembered um, the details of the dungeons. Uh, the Jaws of Bone, you never saw the end of. It was just a maze of rooms and things that kept changing around. Uh, you never knew if Gavin was just like making it up as he went. Uh, or if there was ever a plan to it. Sometimes it seemed to make sense, and then other times just like, you're suspicious. Depends how much restaurant work. Yeah, that, the night before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gavin's always designing these mega dungeons with like creatures in there that have no reason or purpose for being there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. I mean, it's one of Gavin's dungeons. We've, we've, we've done this before, right? I mean, literally this one. Yeah. It looks I mean, just like the picture. Oh my god. I don't remember what was in, like, the first <laughs> chamber. I mean, I'm sure he's, like, changed it all. <laughs> <laughs> and then you remember. Um, what would that be doing here? I would say, actually, uh, whoever wants to remember, uh, you know that there are at least three different ways that you can go from the main entrance. Oh my god, and we argued for like a whole session on which way to go. Yeah. I have no memory of this place. Did we always decide to go left? Just go left. That's what you do in a maze, right? You just take every left. And eventually you find your way out. That is that is actually true, yeah. Sounds good to me. So left? Go right. Left. Right? Straight away. Yep. Straight. I thought we were going left. I thought we were going left. Right. Straight away. <laughs> Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take off, like, left. Hopefully okay. I'm standing in the right direction. You're still standing outside. <laughs> the oh, I'm, I'm like, holding the <laughs> Uh, okay, but yeah, you you all approach uh, as you go inside of the, the Jaws of Bone. Sure enough, uh, by the end of this cave, uh, just completely covered in bones, uh, uh, you do see three paths, uh, a path to the left and a path to the right. The path down the center seems to be an ornate uh, stone uh arch but it has a a blue kind of force field uh around it 
uncertain of what you might need to do. But you do see the left side. <laughs> it looks okay. <laughs> that looks fine. Yeah. Is there anything... Do any of the... Is there anything in this chamber that stands out as being ornate beyond the door frame? Uh, why don't you make a either intelligence check or a wisdom check? Okay, a thing. One success. One success. Okay. It's a four. Um, you see a as you begin to look at the arch, you see kind of words uh, seem to be like. Uh, dusty fuel, but you, you can kind of like, someone helps you up and you kind of un, yeah, you dust them off. Um, you know this, not for what you're reading, they, they seem to be runes, uh, but you remember uh, that there there is some sort of phrase that needs to be spoken in order to get through this doorway. I mean, I remember that. I don't remember. Mm. Isn't this like a temple for your 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 person, Frankie? Is it something that you can do? Um, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Although I don't remember the jaws of bone being a temple. That's a new spin. Um, maybe, maybe it could, maybe it's something to do with, the uh, the wildlife, maybe her name even. Um, and I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll try her name, uh, which I wrote down as, I don't know if I talked to you about this, uh, Eric, do we have a name already established that you have? I do have a name. Okay. What do you I have? <laughs> I had uh, I think it's Vistra. Vi okay. Yeah, Vistra. Okay. Uh, I'll just say uh, uh, Vistra says open, like really quietly. Nothing. Is this at all reminiscent of? the way that the original game started, or is this completely different? Uh, it feels reminiscent. Uh, it feels... Uh, Lionel, you you recall needing to get something from the dungeon and bring it back. Huh. In the runes, I can't distinguish what they say, but I remember that to speak what they say opens it? Uh, no, that just that they are, it's a magic uh, archway that will only open uh, with a phrase. <clears throat> Runes being magical in some way, um, sure. not necessarily like something else. Yeah. So it looks like we're going left. Hey, Elon, is there any fair gold in here? Uh, fair gold, indeed there is. There is some, and you can, in, on your heads up display, you can see it, but it doesn't give you like, like it kind of, you can see it off in the distance, like through walls and things. Mm -hmm. um, you see, yeah, there is one piece of fair gold off to your left. I'm going left. I think Gavin wants us to go left. Right. No, we tried that. Right. <laughs> no, we tried that. We're going left, though. Left. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, who's leading? Um, is it dark in here? It's <laughs> it is dark, uh, but Lucky has a torch. So the torchlight is seems to be lighting most of the way. Um, um, I'll go. I'll go second. 
my god, my problem. <laughs> I can hand you the torch if you really want. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'll go first, and she'll pull out her sword. Also, <laughs> begins to to glow with the pink fire. Alright. Um. <laughs> does it look like there might be, like, traps and things like do we remember do, like in the original game or whatever do we remember things like like that you do certainly remember many rooms many traps um yeah all sorts of things random monsters a shop for some reason <laughs> when you needed it <laughs> okay. you want to go back to town <laughs> oh god, was it run by Goblin? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Goblin! Stranger. Ooh, it's all Goblin down here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, deep cut. Uh, yeah, you remember that. Uh, so I will... I'm going to stay up near the front and with that same kind of mindset from before walking backwards through the mist I'm going to try and just like look out for danger or traps um, okay yeah um, I would say but not really looking you know like I'm just kind of like weaving sure um, something that you notice on the f- on the ground um, most of it is you're kind of, you know, just being aware of your surroundings. Um, as you go further into the left, uh, it's becoming more wild. Uh, there's, it's like roots almost have taken, taken up here and, and it's no longer like a, a cave of bones just lining the entire thing, but you're seeing, uh, it's becoming more natural. Uh, there's there's kind of water kind of seeping out the sides, uh, and mostly yeah roots lining the way. Along the ground, you see uh, it, it's uneven. Uh, more kind of large roots. If you weren't paying attention, you might trip over them. Um, but what you do see is something's been like something large is like dragged through here and like destroyed a lot of these these roots. It's a large room, uh, like the actual area that you're you're walking through is, is relatively large. Uh, I'd say it's, you know, uh, at least 12 feet high um, and maybe, you know, eight feet across. But like along the walls, there's parts that have just been like completely scraped off the, the, the ground. Like these roots have been like pulled up in, in areas uh, as if something as large has gone through here. Does it look like something was dra- like dragged? What's the word there? Drug? 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 That is drug. <laughs> Drugs. Uh, now I would ask for a, a, a wisdom check. Okay. Is that everyone or just lucky? I, I failed. So. Okay. Uh, I, Frankie, if you're, if you're... Now I'd say, uh, you know, as you're getting more familiar with, like, oh, this, this might be a temple to... Uh, Vistra, yeah, you can go ahead and roll a wisdom check as well. Okay. Or perception check. Wisdom. Part of the cards. All right. A two, a two, and a three. Yikes. <laughs> um, hard to tell. I also got a two and a three, just so you know. High five. Uh, two threes make a six. In that case, <laughs> uh, no, but I'd say you can't tell whether or not something was like drugged what? through here. That sounds wrong. Dragged. That sounds wrong. Dragged. Dragged. Thank you. Dragged. Uh, it but it does wrong. seem to be in. You do notice the 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 damage seems to be in like at least pockets. It's not like one continuous thing. Hmm. hmm. Um, oh, does that alert me to the idea that potentially stay away from? 
Okay, so my Betty's mind goes, maybe this is where traps are because the roots are <laughs> fucked up. So I will avoid the damaged areas and okay. tell everyone else to do so as well. Okay. Okay, you do that. Um, I would say that Fleming, you're kind of, while you're not in the front, you're kind of following where that fair gold might be coming from. Yep. Um, maybe helping to lead the, the group through that because it does it doesn't continue down just like one channel. Uh, there there are many uh, areas where it kind of splits off uh, in different directions. Um, but Fleming, you're kind of keeping everyone kind of dialed into where this this fair gold could be um, until you eventually. Uh, come to a room um, and from kind of before turning the corner into, into this this room you, you can hear kind of this high pitched like tss of steam and a large <laughs> something moving around inside <clears throat> you think that's your abomination? Um, I think it might be. I assume there's no peephole to, like, look through. It's around the corner. <laughs> there's a peephole. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate my reactive combat invisibility. Okay. Uh, because it was activated with the fair gold before. Yep. Still um, on. And then... So I have my predator invisibility. I'm, I'm gonna go take a quick look. I, and I, I double check with them. I, I'm invisible, right? Can, can you just make sure? Like, no. Yeah. You... Who's talking? <laughs> well, I mean, just, you're, you're, you're good. You know just be safe. Can I just right, reach out? Don't and touch across the... me, right? I don't know if I have you multiple lives yeah. in this game. All right. All right, and I, I'll, I'll sneak. I'll sneak over to see if I can see what that is. Okay, activating yeah your light light field projector, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, you you turn invisible, uh, but yeah, it is it is very much predator like. So like, if you do really concentrate on it, you can make out his outline, um, but very very hard to see, especially in in the dark. And as soon as he gets outside of the uh, the range of your your light sources, like gone. Uh, Fleming, go ahead and give me a uh, dexterity uh, check, and you okay. can act. You can use your your die as well. Ooh, I can use my die. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I've got a four, five, and a six. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, three successes and a special. Does a Okay. I don't have a yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. any dirt. And for those of you watching, our special dies are the ones that are attributed to us right here on our screens. So those are our special dies that we get to use. Alright. Fleming, as you turn the corner, um, you can see it's a it's a larger room. There's this large hulking creature that kind of like lurches uh, around uh, seems to like looking around at something, um, but then eventually goes and just kind of <laughs> sits down. Uh, but you see its body is just covered in like this oxidized copper and bronze and iron. Uh, its intricate gears and pistons uh, are just like tss, tss, going off with, uh, with steam. Uh, wearing gears and things are, are like kind of controlling its, its legs. Uh, the only shiny part of its of this whole like metal body are these giant, like two large, finely polished silver horns uh, that protrude from from the forehead, uh, like a like a massive bull's head. Um, you see its its eyes just glow, this like electric blue as it sits down and you know, holding a giant metal axe. I just I just like that's 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 pretty fucking cool, Gavin. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, I I I'll, is it is it pretty far away? 
Uh, it's at this point, yeah. I'd say this is what you immediately see when you turn the corner. Um, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna be it. Hi, Elon. What the fuck is that? Uh, that appears to be a minotaur, sir. Uh, what you might be familiar with as a minotaur. Okay. Is that way out of my league? It looks a little bit out of my league. Like, is that is that level appropriate for our group? Or did we just walk into the wrong zone? Uncertain how to answer your power question. level it, like... <laughs> uh, it, it, difficult to answer. Do you, do you wish to fight the creature or speak with it? No, no, no. We're not rolling for initiative yet. I'm going to sneak back to the group. Rolling initiative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak back to the group. Yeah. Okay. Oh um, my! Gavin outdid himself. We've got like a clockwork steam <coughs> steampunk giant minotaur chilling over there around the corner. Fucking metal. Yeah, I don't know if it's level appropriate. I don't know if we walked into the wrong zone, <laughs> but uh, it looks pretty tough. Ooh, you said level appropriate. I'm gonna put that on my on my new dating app bio. That's a much cooler way to say age appropriate. <laughs> Adorable. Level appropriate. And and very specific to the audience you're looking for. Yes, thank is you. Is that the source of the fair gold? It is. It seems to be in one of its eyes. Okay. Um, I don't know what you guys want to do. I'm not a talk first player. I usually shoot first and figure shit out afterwards, but... Oh, you can talk to it? I don't know. Sentient? You can find out. I I don't know how much reasoning we'll be able to have with a steampunk minotaur. You never know until you try. Hey, Elon. What what are these creatures that uh, are made with fair gold? Oh, fair gold seems to be spread across many types of creatures. Uh, what how it chooses them seems to be uh, outside of my knowledge. You guys remember Gavin's steampunk phase? He would wear that top hat with all the gears on it like all the time to school. He got yeah. dress coded like for a solid yes. He got dress coded for a solid month, but like he just would not give up the game. It was crazy. I thought it was pretty cool. I guess it wasn't a phase. <laughs> it was a lifestyle. I mean um, we we should I mean, if it's an option, maybe we try to talk to the metal guy. Um, we can ask for the password to the gate. We can certainly try. Yeah. I mean... Lucky, yes. how confident do you feel in... It's just a game. I can go ask him some questions if you want. Uh, it's not just a game, though. It's a pretty cool game. That. Yeah, we don't know if we actually die for real if we die in this game or not. Yeah, that seems no. like something Gavin should have told us. I don't know. I think Gavin fudged all the time. We would have died a lot of times before. He just... Yeah, he, he went on easy. He went easy with us a lot of the times. I don't think we... Good point. I... Um, and he invited us here to do this. I'm having an awesome time. Right, except this could be the abominate, like, so. But it, what, what if it's what not, and god then you, the like, god fuck your... What is your god the god of? Um, wildlife. Okay, so we have wildlife in here, and then a big mechanical 
uh, abomination. Minotaur. Could that be the abomination, given that it's fucking mechanical? Yes, I, I think it is. But it could also be an ally that's been planted here, and you would never know if you kill it. It's obviously useful. Chip is after it, too, to use it. So it can be harnessed somehow. I mean, it's got a fair gold. But what, wait, is this the only fair gold in here? Is this, like, the thing? No, actually, no, there were, there were more, there was... You don't currently see any on your, your heads-up display at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> but you're not sure if it's because you're too far, or if there's just not any. Um, well, I mean, my, my god, Vistra did say we could, we just needed to get rid of the abomination. Got it. So it's basically a search and destroy quest, so that's pretty simple. Well, it said get rid of. Not search like and evict? Evict. That sounds like it's a fun the thing. thing. If Chip is after it and we don't destroy it, that means Chip will likely get to it. Unless we use it against Chip. This is very much like the Council of Elrond, where, like, I don't think we can use it. I think it... You're making assumptions. You don't know. I, 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 you know, it, it's it's mechanical. You know? Uh, Listen. I can try to hack it. I've got Please try to hack the Minotaur. <laughs> hack I've the planet. A... <laughs> hack the Minotaur. Hack the planet. I can try. Hey, hey. Okay, okay. No, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna uh, walk, How? sneak back over there, kind of like behind, you know, whatever cover I have, and I just go, Hey, Long, I need you to do something for me. Um, I'm gonna run a program. I need you to penetrate the back door and fill it up with my packets. Out of yourself, Paul. Execute. Execute. <laughs> now, we can certainly infiltrate into the back door, but we do need proper payment, as stated. Are you going to say consent? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so uh, okay, this is, yep, yep. I, I, you know, I, I just came up with the idea. I can't look stupid in front of my friends, so, you know, they, like, like, they're cutting through shit, and, and Lucky's got us here, and I, I, I gotta do this. So, I stick the, uh, I stick the extra fair gold in my next slot. Yep. And I go, execute, prompt, execute. All right. I'd like you to roll a, uh, your intelligence. Um... Yeah, you go ahead and add your your die, and also great, uh, give me advantage on that, so you get one extra right. die. Ooh, do I get to roll five? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a four and a six. Four and a six, fantastic. Um, as you, you approach, you, you sneak up. Um, also, Frankie, you, you do recall that the uh, specific instructions from Vistra were to slay. Uh, but as the... Uh, what kind uh, of slay? As, like... <laughs> like Elohim? <know. laughs> or... <laughs> You're not sure if gods are up for uh, interpretation. <laughs> Uncertain, maybe. They should uh, make their scripture better. Scripture is <laughs> such mystery. <laughs> the scripture is nice. Uh, Fleming, <laughs> so as you approach, um, you ma manage to get behind the, the Minotaur uh, rather rather easily. Um, you hear in your, in your little heads-up display, um, go ahead and... <laughs> we need to plug in. And you see in your hand kind of appears a, a, a jack, uh, and it, there appears to be a, a hole on the, uh, the Minotaur's bottom side. <laughs> Exhaust pipe. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, nobody's watching, so I'm invisible. This is not going to look really 
lame. It's not going to stick great. I'm just going to... I have to get right off. <laughs> 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 that Yeah. Uh, I jack. <laughs> I you jack, jack in. in. <laughs> you jack in. Okay, jack so you're you're jack in. I jack in. I want to watch this. <laughs> 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 oh, that's oh, yeah. Well, this is tabletop <laughs> gaming for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, this is my special. If if I if I can actively subvert the system. To perform one action for that um, hacking ability. Is there anything, yeah, in, in particular uh, that you would like uh, the unloading of your packets to do? Um, oh. Uh, can't, can't, well, I'm hacking it, does it know the password? Can I tell if it knows the password? Um, Sure, uh, and you, so you use your use your special on this. Um, yes. As you go into its mind, uh, Elon comes back to you, uh, stating, "This creature does not have the password. Uh, however, it seems to be guarding something that night." Okay. Okay. Um. And you, as you're as you're hacked into it. Uh, it, it kind of like looks down, it, it not powered off, but kind of like, and you see as its eyes begin to flutter, like, and it's like projecting illusions kind of in front of it, like a, like a hologram, um, hard to kind of make out. Okay. Does, does the minotaur seem docile right now? Like it appears docile. Hey guys, I think. I think it's safe. Uh, I'm. I, it's safe. Trust me, it's safe. I walk in if he says it's safe. You see, yeah. As you walk in, you see uh, this giant minotaur, maybe, you know, ten feet tall, but like seated at the moment. Uh, but yeah, just kind of like mm -hmm. something, something and I can't read it. I can't read it. <clears throat> you, you can't read what? The thing it's doing with the its eyes on the ground or, or whatnot. Uh, uh, can we see that? Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. You can all, yeah. Have, have you all walked in at this point? Okay. Uh, yeah. You all you all see this. Um, you see. Well, you you don't see Fleming. He's just kind of whispering from behind. Uh, but as as you all kind of approach uh, Lionel, as you get closer. The, the projection seems to even faster. Um, it's not, you can see it's not visibly like angry, um, but it just looks at you and goes, oh, the one with many names approaches, yet none he seems to keep. And points at you. The Minotaur does? The Minotaur says that. Still this guy knows you. Fairly calm right now. It looks calm. Okay. You're not uncertain whether or not it would have if uh, something wasn't there. I'm writing this down really quick. He points at you and just goes, "Imposter!" He, in an accusing way, uh, and Me? at you, and begins flickering his eyes again. You see, his eyes flash this like projection image in front and you're all seeing this you can see uh your teenage selves are all kind of sitting around together in the teacher's lounge playing games as lionel checks his time and grabs his backpack and rushes out leaving like everyone after him like was calling hey what's up like kind of confused he's running uh background kind of blurs as he's rushing past a bunch of stuff in the in the school eventually coming to a school stage there's three casting directors ready for his audition. Uh, you can even see Eloise in the background. I'm just like crossed arms 
Uh, Lionel, this isn't an illusion. This is this is a memory. Um. Bully, he says, pointing at Bully. you again. Bully. Uh, another scene <laughs> forms in the air. Now you're seeing yourself being kind of like cheered on by uh, your jock friends. So you're graffitiing on the wor- uh, on the wall uh, the words Fleming the Lemming in large red spray paint alongside a crude drawing with buck teeth. Am I the only one that can see this or can everyone see this now? Everyone sees it. I think there's just a million, like a million thoughts going through Lionel's head. Like, I I think he goes back to like that mindset that he would have been in. Like, how can I spin this? How can I change it? Like, how can I explain it away? And it's just like a loop. And as you're as you're thinking of different ways that you can you can come up with some other story. He says, liar. The same scene, uh, people, they disappear. They're no longer cheering you on. There's no one standing there except for one person. It's just Fleming standing alone, looking up at the words. You see yourself come up behind him, putting a comforting arm around over his shoulders. You look angry, but you know, like you're putting on an act. You see yourself telling Fleming, you know, I'll find whoever did this. I'll make them pay. And you kind of like walk him away from the scene as it disappears. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. He did that? Can, can you <laughs> see Fleming? I can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's behind it, but yeah, he okay. can kind of now make it out. Yeah, so, I mean, you're seeing this first time. I mean, it's, it's just pulling random images out. It's just trying to turn everyone against one another. It's not... It's head kind of just... It's not off. It's just kind of, like, not moving. It's not random. I remember that audition. I remember seeing you there. That happened. Did you? What was that? I didn't hear. You painted that? That happened too? I didn't... I didn't mean anything by it. It's... You... You guys don't know what it was like having to try and live like in duality all the time. I mean, you chose to. You didn't have to. I didn't I didn't know what to do. What are you going to do now? I I just constantly lived with this fear of failure. Fear of failing the school and my parents and what they expected of me, failing you guys. Failing at my dream. Bro, but you failed me. Yeah. And I'll pull my hood away. And you guys will see like the 
black veins like all over one side of my face. It looks worse, uh, and actually, it it seems to be like not glowing, but something from underneath, like is almost like pulsing with your like heartbeat. What is what is that? That's new. This is this is this is fear. This yeah. is what <laughs> this is what the the game has done. I can. I, I, I can weaponize it now. I can I can help everyone. Isn't that what you were always doing? No, see, before I was just looking after myself, and now I can look after everyone with this. You have to believe me. Fleming, I'd like you to I'd like you to roll um, an intelligence check for me with disadvantage. Um, I want to see if you can continue holding back this creature. A four. You got four? Okay. Uh, you feel as it's like <laughs> beginning to fight back. Uh, and it, it's it's trying to hulk out of it. If you will. But it's it's going to take a lot. Hey, hey guys. Uh, this this Minotaur is, is starting to to str- struggle against my, my control. It's waking up. I've, I've, got, I've got it under control. Look, we were kids. We were kids. This isn't now. We're adults. We're grown. We all made mistakes. You haven't said sorry yet. Bro, I, I looked up to you, Lionel. You. Yeah. As they're talking, I want to start walking towards the Minotaur. Okay. Yeah, you approach. Um. I see the fair gold in its eye. Mm -hmm. I want to reach up and grab it or try. Yeah. Um, I would say either a strength or dexterity. uh, I will use dexterity. Um, Yeah. Can I use my special with this? Yeah. I would say pulling the eye out of a minotaur that may or may not be under complete control is rather foolish. (laughs) (laughs) Success, success. Success. Uh, what's my special? Um... Well... I got two successes. Okay. But my special dice is a cross. Okay. Um, you go and you you put your hand on on the minotaur's head as it it doesn't move at all. You grasp into it and you're able to your your strength is you know non-human at this point. Uh, you crush into its eye uh, and you remove the fair gold. Uh, you're holding it in your hand, but now you see the inside of this this minotaur. Uh, it's like it's like film uh, is, is kind of running through its its brain just um, as this these blue kind of sparks like shoot out of it. Uh, they suddenly turn red sparks. Uh, Fleming, you are no longer able to contain uh, this beast as it it just rips off the the uh, the cable that you you have inserted into it uh, and now stands it stands. Fully tall, bestial, grabs its axe and just lets out a huge metal roar. And we'll end our session there. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. Just a, just a light game for fun with our friends. Just a light hearted romp. Oh, we all God. did this. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's Yay. crazy. Uh, oh, well. Oh my gosh. I got actually mad at you for <laughs> it was like, <laughs> Sam, <"Sail>, could you? <laughs> Okay. Oh, the yeah. characters uh, we all created were uh, pretty ruthless, but very, I mean, we're like this, gosh, it's all oh. coming back now. You unzip me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I don't like going back. I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, with that, oh, we gosh. will... Uh, end tonight's session and uh we'll pick back up in two weeks first game of the new year is done uh glad i got to kick it off um awesome yeah yeah Chaos didn't make it through high. a single game without making explicit butt jokes we didn't make it one game into this year. <laughs> maybe, maybe 2024 will be our year <laughs> not this it's year but all the way down that's 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 wild. actually wild actually wild um is there anyone that we would like to raid or anything um uh no man is playing bull's gate so yeah um go bro i'm probably gonna play boulder's gate later <laughs> uh long lost lore we can do them okay you got it. Long lost war. Yeah, make sure that you stick around for the raid as well. You'll pick up your extra 250 uh, channel points, which you can use on Friday to uh, boon our players in the Fables of Galia when we pick up for the first of the year. Uh, ah, the bows, they're hurting. Um, I forgot I was wearing mine. <laughs> <laughs> But you could give them flex points, which could be used for some pivotal moments there. So make sure you stick around for that. And also drop in some raid emojis. Let them know where you came from. Uh, this has been the, yeah, it's the first stream of the year. Yeah. 2024. Yeah. yeah. Happy New the Year. The bang. Happy New Year. So bad. We're ready to raid. Great. Thank you all for joining, and uh, we'll see you soon. Friday.